prisoners in Christ. Welcome back to another video on Desmios. Desmios is a Greek word for prisoner. Uh, just a little fun fact for you. Anyways, so before I get into a bunch of stuff, please subscribe if you want to. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by this point. But anyways, I've been a lot more focused on my prayer life recently and i have a resolution this year for my prayer life and that is to pray for just five people okay um so why five people well let me give you an answer to that okay five people because i used to get on my knees and i every night and i just pray for like tons of people like 25 50 people people in my church people that i knew a lot of people um and I got overwhelmed um, by praying for all these people. And it's good to have a list while you're praying of all the people. Um, and my church does the thing where it's like, for this day, pray for, you know, all these people. This day, pray for them. Uh, people with cancer one day, military one day, missionaries one day. But I'm not saying that you shouldn't pray like that at all. But I thought of something different. So I was watching a Francis Chan sermon and he said, we need to stop saying prayers, you know, that are just like easy to say almost like, oh, Lord, just plays by with Susie and her ankle, just plays hell, play, plays by with Jeff's brain. Like, you know, it's just kind of like, it's dry and you're just saying it to say it. That's not prayer. That's just a repetition, you know, whatever. It's just a circular thing, you know, and... It's not really a thing where you can get on your knees and just be like, it's it's not an honest thing, you know? It's just like, oh, I'm commanded to pray with people. Okay, I'll do it. You know, it's kind of just like doing it to do it. It's not doing it because you care or you love them. But I thought of something different. What if you just prayed for five people the whole week? That would be about 258 people every single year. And so... Just get on your knees, pray for five people a week. And then at the end of the week, call those people, ask them how they're doing, and then ask them, hey, is there anything I can pray for you about? And then pray with that person. Um, and it can be a little difficult if you're praying for someone halfway across the world, if you're praying for someone who is who you met one time and, you know, never saw them again, if they're a YouTuber, whatever, maybe atheist on YouTube or something, and you're just praying for them, it's going to be kind of hard to contact them. But if it's people in your church, if it's people in your family who are lost or, or sick or in need of that strength and that, and that prayer, you know, go and ask them and be like, how are you doing now? You know, how are you doing? And don't tell them that you, well, you can say, hey, I've been praying for you. Um, but don't be like, you know what? Guess what I did? I'm a good person because I prayed for you. You're welcome because you're lost. And, you know, don't do not do that. Just be like, hey, I've been praying for you. How are you doing? You know, um, and then if you want to pray with them, you can at the end. But, you know, I just, there's just something so much more powerful when you're foking, foking, when you're focusing about five people, just five people and praying for them deeply, you know, not five people and just being like, be with Susie and her ankle, be with Jeff and his brain, be with, you know, Bob and his shoulder, be with those two other people, you know, don't do that. Okay. And then you're like, all right, I said my prayer. Good night. You know, don't, don't do that. Okay. Instead, instead do this, pray for five people deeply i prayed for five people last night um and it's sort of a deep manner you know and i got on my knees and i was just like man be with this person i pray that they'd come to you i pray that they just believe in you lord i pray that their heart would be just anything that i could pray about that person pray for them about it we as christians we as christians man Jesus is in us. The Holy Spirit is in us. We need to stop saying prayers that are so dry. What what time do you have to go to in the night? All right? Jesus wants you to pray at night for those people, you know? So get down on your knees. Forget about yourself. Just pray for them. This life, I mean, are you going to get to heaven and you're going to hear, you know, well done, good and faithful servant, 
you know? And, of course, we could never do enough, okay? That's why we're saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, you know? We could never do enough. We could never do more of this, more of that, you know? And, of course, yes, there is that. But here's the thing. You could live your life not doing any of that and just believing in Christ, reading your word, and then you'd get to heaven, you know, because, yes, you're a Christian and you believed and you loved God, you know, that's basically the basic requirement to go to heaven. And you'd go there and Jesus would be like, yes, well done, good and faithful servant, you know. And of course, he's not going to say, but you didn't do this, 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 and this, you know. Yes, we're all going to fall, but we need to stop using that as an excuse. We need to know, man, we in this generation are so caught up in, okay, what do I need to do for my life to be perfect? Oh, that doesn't require, you know, like, if my life is perfect without that, I don't really need to do that, you know, and we are, we have gone from taking up our cross to for completely forgetting that obligation, and now we're at this whole stage of, there are more stores than ever, more shopping centers than ever, there are more social media platforms, more ways to save you money, more ways to help you, more um, talk shows to satisfy your entertainment needs, you know, every YouTube video, you know, I mean, it is so much more about ourselves now, but what happened to prayer? What happened to literally believing in the reality that the Holy Spirit is in us, the same one that went across the waters in Genesis 1-2, that Holy Spirit, that Jesus that died on the cross, is communicating between us and God. We are so uncontent in America, and trust me, I have been way too uncontent lately, and I don't like it. Jesus has called us to be different. Different as people, different in all sorts of manners and he's just saying stop pray your life is so short it is but a breath you are just a piece of wind okay you're a worm i'm sorry jesus says it himself god called a whole entire nation the chosen nation he called it a worm y'all all right we're just worms all right we're little chicken nuggets all right but jesus man Grasp on to him and pray. So instead of thinking about yourself this year or this whole new decade, instead of thinking about yourself, think about taking up your cross, being a true prisoner for Christ. Think about it. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I pray that you guys have an amazing day today and uh, God bless you. Please keep being prisoners. Please keep taking up your cross. Goodbye.